Hi, before we get into the actual video, I wanted to show you this still photo of the different main engines you get with the different kits. On the left is the uh, one replacements from real space models. In the middle are the parts you get from the Dragon kit, uh, which are not bad, but acceptable. And on the right is what you get from the Revell kit. And notice the Ohms engines from the Revell kit really aren't bad, while the ones from the Dragon kit are like really bad goofy. So we're going to uh, show you how I got these painted here right now. Howdy again. So where are we? We're um, working on the last pieces, which includes the engines and the payload bay doors. Let's look at the rocket engines. Uh, I think I showed you some initial painting last time. Well, I've gone through and um, put some dry brushing and a little bit of uh, some other colors and even some uh, pastel powders. Uh, some dark black and then a little rust type color because I noticed on the pictures it's really not very metallic it's it's mostly flat black with um, a fair amount of a uh, little shine here and there a little little hinge of brown tan rust um, you know this, these are the real space resin replacement parts some of the little conduit lines are broken off on some of these um, I'm just gonna hide those on the bottom because I don't feel like you know I could go in here and Put some wire on and replace like these broken pieces here and here's a whole little piece broken off but if i stick that on the bottom it's not gonna be noticeable the inside i just painted with um, gunship gray and um so these look really nice the ones that come these will be saved for the revel kits but i painted them all at once this is what you get with the revel kit you know look at this thing compared to um uh, the, uh, the ones from real space much much better so that'll do that although what's interesting is the Ravel gives you these for the ohms engines you know which aren't really that bad as uh, the ones you get with um, these are the ones you get with uh, the dragon kit which are kind of toy like but I'm gonna use them anyway and uh, somewhere here I've got the ones for the um, the, the replacements from uh, here they are, real space, and and they're uh, they're really nice. They're really nice, and they're close to what the Ravel gives you, but it's uh, gonna work out just fine. So that's coming along with the engines. These are the engines with the same treatment from the uh, um, Dragon kit. Not as detailed as the real space, but adequate. So that'll be fine. So those are ready to go now. I think. Uh, then I'm we're working on the payload bay doors. Uh, here are the uh, radiators. I just put a coat of uh, Mission Models Chrome. This is very thin, light pigment paint. It's going to need another coat. I'm probably going to have to buff this down a little bit. It's got some dust on it. And then I'll get another coat. It's apparently, Mission Metallics, lots of light coats are required. Which is why I tend to like um, the stuff from... Uh, Vallejo, their metallics, so this is a gunship, but their metallics tend to uh, cover in a single coat. This is a mix of some um, Vallejo steel, which is not that much different from Vallejo uh, aluminum. So I put a few drops of gunmetal in it, and uh, it's a darker shade, and that'll go underneath the, underneath the radiators. And I mask the edges, and it's probably ready to take off because um, this stuff dries pretty quick. So let's go give that a shot. We'll take off um, the backing here. Hopefully that didn't mess up the paint too much. And uh, I want to, well, I don't think I'm going to have to take the time here in this, this particular episode, but we can take some of this off. I just want to see how this, this top came off because um, I had a, fuss with it and I even put some uh, liquid mask over these these hinge points because uh, that wasn't uh, gonna cover with tape very well but the very top edge I noticed in photos does not have uh, silver on it so basically we're gonna have an effect like this the very top part here is white and then the rest of it's got the metallic sheet so, so this is coming along nicely. The, it's just flat white, just testers, I'm sorry, Tamiya Rattlecan Primer, single shade. 
I'm not gonna mess around with that on this particular kit. So um, that's coming along pretty well. I gotta hit another coat on the radiator inside and um, we'll be close to wrapping, wrapping up the Dragon Kit here real soon. Uh, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more shortly.